man jailed for 24 years after brutal uh, Tasha restaurant attack. Chen Jizhi, the main perpetrator in the brutal attack on a group of female dinner in the northern Hebei province, uh, that sparked a national outcry, has been sentenced to 24 years in prison, according to a verdict released Friday. Chen was found guilty of eight charges that included picking quarrels and provoking trouble, a robbery, gang fights, and intentional injury, and filed 320,000 yuan, a district court in Nafa said. The 27 other defendants were headed prison and terms ready from six months to 11 years and files between 30,000 yuan and 135,000 yuan. In June, for women at barbecue restaurant in Taoshan were brutal assaulted by a group of seven men and two women. After one of the female dinners objected to unwanted access to advances, souvenirs footage from the restaurant showing a group of men beating, snapping, and kicking the dinner so went viral, raising concerns over women's safety. Two of the dinners suffered from minor injuries, while the other pair, while the other pair had slightly minor injuries. Local authorities said last month, Chinese now defies minor injuries as those that harm an individual's appearance and organs. With the potential for criminal charges, Chen and five other defendants were asked to pay for the women's medical expenses, lost wages, and other expenses according to the verdict. The case went on trial September 30 and the Guangyang District People Court in Norfolk just weeks after prosecutor filed a criminal charges against 28 people linked with the attack and other crimes according to the verdict. While the attack took place in Taoshan, it was headed over to authorities in Nafang. Both cities are in Hebei to avoid potential cover-ups. In late August, the provincial graft buster launched an investigation into 15 local officials suspected of uh, colluding with Chen Gao, Chen Gao, 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 eight of them in Tangshan were taken into custody on suspicion of abuse of power and bribery. Cases of gender based violence and sexual harassment have time and against back the public outcry in China with people calling for stricter punishments. Last year, a man in the southwestern Sichuan province was sentenced to death after intentionally killing his ex-wife during a living stream. But such harass, such harsh, Sentences 
are rarely in many cases of abuse and harassment that have seen women being attacked in public places, including in hotels and when using ride heavily services. While sexual harassment has been recognized as a cause for legal action since 2018, such cases often don't make it to the courts or are rejected due to a lack of evidence. This week, another case grabbed national attention after more than a dozen women accused their as the tutor doing the who teaching and uh, in Lu Zhantai Tutorial Acad- Academy of various uh, degrees of harassment. He was later detailed by Beijing police.